swim baits, wake snakes, wake baits, chatter baits, master baits. There's so many different types of Murray cod lures flooding the market these days that a lot of people who are new to the sport of Murray cod fishing can easily become bewildered. Now, in this video, I'm gonna run through the more popular styles of Murray cod lures in order to help you make decisions when you go to the tackle store looking to buy your first Murray cod lures. Hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Rightio. When I first started fishing for Murray Cobb with lures, it was probably the early 1980s with my dad, and he was doing it before that, we used to trawl, and usually we'd be using either Abergast mud bugs or floppies, the original floppies. There were a few other types of spinners around. There were uh, flatfish. Before that, there was aeroplane spinners. But mostly in, in our little area, there was uh, mud bugs and floppies, and there wasn't much else to choose from. There were others. There were some Australian-made lures back then. They were lesser known than they are now. I think Nysel lures might have been around then, or Knolls or a couple of the others. But anyway, mostly for us, it was mud bugs and floppies because they were easy to get hold of. They were in the tackle stores and sports stores. Now, over the years, we've seen other lures come into it. We've seen, we've seen spinner baits and chatter baits and wake baits and all kinds of things. Now, a lot of these have been around for a long time, and they were, were being used for Murray Cod before my time, but they weren't popular back then. They were only used by an elite few, and it's only over the last few years we've been at Maps have seen an absolute boom in lure fishing, and a lot of these lures have become really popular. So let's start with what I started with, and that was a hard body lure. This is a hard body lure. Now this one, this is a, I'm hoping the camera focuses on this. That is a old mate lure. It's an old mate diving lure, but it's a hard body lure. It's designed to swim down and swim like a fish and catch fish at depth. Now, the ones I started off with, as mentioned, were mainly mud bugs and flatfish, but there's thousands. One of the most popular brands in Australia is the Stump Jumper and the Orgy, and there's just so many different sorts. But if you hear someone talking about a hard body lure, that's what that is. That's a hard body lure, just a diving lure with a set of hooks designed to swim and catch fish. And then, I suppose, oh, I don't know, years ago, but after we started using them, we started seeing a surge in popularity of spinner baits. This is a spinner bait. There are so many different types of spinner baits. This is a Bassman DT. DT means double trouble because you'll see here it's got the two blades on it. So that's a Bassman DT, and they have seen a surge in popularity as well. Now we've got a DT, we've got four by fours. There's, there's many different types of spinner baits on the market, but hard body lures and spinner baits make up the majority of Murray Cod Fisherman's lures. They are the two most popular of the lot. Whoops. Now, have you ever heard of a buzz bait? This is a buzz bait. This is a Bassman buzz bait. The tail's broken off a little bit. Basically, it's designed so that, I'll see if I can get the camera to focus on it. It's designed so that the water makes that spin, and when it spins, it hits this little, this little sort of metal thing here, and makes it go Drrr. I can only sort of do it so well. Anyway, it doesn't sound loud here, but out in the field, out in the river, it is really loud. And that's really good in cicada season when there's a lot of cicadas in the trees making that noise that they make. Buzz baits work really well then. Another thing I like about buzz baits, unlike a lot of surface lures, is they sink very slowly. So if you're getting boofed and they're not hooking up, you can pause it, allow it to sink a foot or so under the water, and then reel it in, and quite often you'll get the fish just subsurface. Buzz baits, if you've heard of buzz baits, that's what that is. This is a surface lure. This is a traditional popper. This is, a, I bought this last year and made a video about it. River to Sea Bubble Pop 110. The traditional poppers or surface poppers have a scooped out front end so that when you're walking through the water they go bloop, 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 bloop. They take a lot of manual work, but that is a traditional popper or plug, a plug type popper or surface popper. There's, they're actually quite popular in the saltwater scene. This is what many of us refer to as a surface popper. Just a standard surface popper. Swims across the surface and goes plop, 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 plop. Cast it out, reel it in, easy to use, easy to find. They're in a lot of tackle stores. They're quite a common lure and probably my favourite sort of lure to use. I love surface fishing for Murray Cod and small hard body surface ploppers like this are probably my favourite. So if you hear the term surface popper, that's usually that style of lure. 
Once again here we have a hard body diver. This is the Predator. This is Mr. Orange. You may have seen a video that I made a while back called Cod Fishing with Mr. Orange. There's Mr. Orange, an orange Predator lure. This is a soft plastic frog. I made a video about this just a while back. This is the Domeki Air Frog. Just once the, this, this is a bit like the plopper. You cast it out, but you've got to work it a little bit to get it to plop across the surface. Very, very subtle. The, uh, the legs kick around a bit. It looks like a frog and the cod really like it. But that's a surface lure. Just a surface soft plastic. Now, let's get into the, some of the more... I'll, I'll talk about these first. These are really quick. Soft plastic. Soft plastics have been growing in popularity in Murray cod fishing for the last few years. Pretty straightforward, it's just a, a plastic fish with a hook in it and a bit of weight. That, that's a Zerek Flat Shad, I think this one's called, Zerek Flat Shad Pro to be exact. That's a pre-rigged soft plastic, you buy it straight out of the box ready to go and catch fish. Then we have, this is a different type, this is a Fish Arrow J Shad. These aren't pre-rigged, so these are 5 inches, 4.5 inches and you've got to buy your jig head separately and rig them. But they're two different types of soft plastics. Soft pl the bonus of soft plastics is they're usually cheaper because you get a number of soft plastics and your jig heads. So you end up getting a number of lures for less than what you'd pay for one lure, if that makes sense. The downside is that they are a lot more prone to becoming snagged. I enjoy soft plastic fishing for Murray Cod. I think it's great, particularly with the surface soft plastics. Now, let's get into some of the more popular things that we're seeing on the market these days. This is a swim bait. This is, this is a G-crack gilling. I'll just uh, try and get the camera to focus on that properly. Now this lure, you'll see it's got a number of joints. Basically it just swims through the water like a fish. It's designed to look like a fish. It's lifelike. And uh, yeah, swim baits have really come a long way in the last few years in popularity. One of the more popular ones you may have heard uh, people talk about is the Jackal Gantrel. The Jackal Gantrel is a very popular swim bait. They can get quite significantly larger than that. But basically what they do is they swim through the water, they swim like a fish, they don't dive, some sink. This swim, this normally comes in about a foot or so under the surface on a long cast. On a short cast, it's just under the top. But that's a swim bait. Don't be confused, a swim bait with a wake snake or a wake bait. Now, I'll use this one first. This is a cooler bung. This is a wake snake. It actually did have a tail, but I broke it off. But it still works very well without the tail. A wake snake such as this is designed to swim across the surface. It swims across the surface and it sends out a big wake behind it. And the fish look up and they see that V pattern coming across the surface. That is the wake that's made by these wake snake lures. That's a Coolabung wake snake. But this is a wake bait. A swim bait, sorry. This is a swim bait. It's meant to go under the water a little bit and not create the wake. Although on a short cast that does create a bit of a wake. But its primary purpose for a swim bait is to go under the water and swim. It's a bait and it swims. Plain and simple. This one here, this is, this is a depth slide, slide swimmer. Sorry, I had a mental blank. This is a depth slide swimmer. This is probably the most expensive lure that I own. It is absolutely unbelievable on the water. This looks incredible, but they're very, very expensive. Now that is, that's, I don't, that's, this is a different one, this one. Actually, I might get back to this. I'm not sure how to categorize this one, so I'll get back to it. I'll go to this one. This is another wake bait. This is the Predator wake bait. Once again, the same as the Coolabung wake bait. It's got the nice little square bib. It just swims just under the surface so that it doesn't make a splash, but it does send out a big long wake and the bodies of these jointed lures rattle together. You can actually hear that like a... So when you're really quiet and you're fishing with these, all you can hear is and you can see a big wave. And these are what a lot of the big cod fishermen use, big wake snakes, because big cod love them. Now, I've got two depth lures here. I don't know what category to put them in. You've seen me catch a lot of fish on this. This is the depth buzz jet. It's a wake bait in the sense that the nose sits under the water. It's got that short, typical snout of a, or bib of a wake bait. So it sits just under and creates a wake. But it's also got this propeller at the back here that throws a lot of water around. And I'm being careful not to hook my finger here. The pro so it makes a wake, but it also makes a splash with the propeller. And the fish climb all over it. I'm not sure whether you would class that as a surface popper because it uh, throws a splash in the air or a wake bait. I tend to think more of a wake bait. I normally just refer to it as a surface lure because it fishes the surface. And I'm not sure how to categorize it, to be quite honest. Now this, let's go back to this fella. 
This is the Depth Slide Swimmer. It's it's essentially a wake bait. It's, it's a surface lure. This one is, I think you do get sinking, but this is a floating model. So it sits on the surface. When you bring it in, it looks so lifelike, just like a swim bait. That's like a surface swim bait, if that makes sense. You can reel it in with a straight retrieve. You can pause it. You can really work it hard with your rod tip and impart a lot of action. This is probably the most brilliant lure that I've ever used. I don't know whether to call it a swim bait or a wake snake. It works pretty pretty well as both. It's like a surface uh, a surface swim bait. <laughs> but I um look, I think it's probably because it's on the surface or just under the surface. I think we'll call it a, a wake bait. We'll call it a wake bait. So we've got a wake bait two piece, a wake snake because it's got three bits, and I had another one here that I put away somewhere. A swim bait because it swims. It doesn't create a wake. It swims under and it's, it clacks and swims. So we've got wake bait, wake snake wake bait and swim bait it gets a bit confusing sometimes but i hope this has uh, helped you understand murray cod lures a bit more now let's just talk a little bit about murray cod lures quickly a lot of people ask me in the messages what's a good lure i think the key is to ask yourself what are you targeting what fish are you targeting if you're targeting big fish then that's a good lure you won't get a better lure that's the predator wake snake or the coolabung wake snake which is just down here these are both very good lures for big for big fish. Why? Because they're big. They're big lures. Big lures catch big fish. My favourite, one of my all-time favourite Murray cod lures is... I'll just dig it back out. Sorry. I'll be right back. I've just thrown these in here as I'm going here and created a tangle. This tiny little... Uh, Coolabung Cod Walker, 70 millimetre. It's only a small little lure. So why is it my favourite? Because I catch so many fish on it. But most of them are small because I'm just targeting small fish. I'm not actually targeting the monsters. I'm targeting small fish in the hope that I might catch a monster. My biggest ever surface cod came on this tiny little lure. It was a brown one, but the same model, an 85 centimetre Murray cod. That was my biggest off the surface, and I was caught on this lure. Had I been specifically targeting 85 centimetre cod that day, I probably would have used something a lot larger like this. The problem with using larger lures is that you don't catch as many fish. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, if your primary purpose is to go out and catch a few fish and get a score on the board, then you probably just want to use something small like that little coolabung or the little buzz jet, or even with, even with diving lures. Now you might want to just use something, uh, you might just want to use something really small like this little old mate. They'll catch small fish and big fish and they'll help you get a score on the board. But if your primary purpose is to go out and target big fish, you want to be using some of these bigger lures. Now, if you follow, if you're a member of the Fish Brain app like I am, look me up, Robbie Fishing. But if you look at the photos on Fish Brain or even on any social media platform of all the big cod that get caught, this time of the year, the depths of winter, we see a lot of photos of big cod. They have almost always got really big lures in their mouth. Whether it's big weight snakes like this or big soft plastics. I saw Reese Creed from Social, social Fishing caught a monster just a few weeks ago on a big soft plastic. But they've always got big lures in their mouth. You don't see those gurus in the middle of winter that taste the big fish. And they are dedicated. They're, they're amazing at what they do. But you don't see them fishing with little lures. This is the little uh, chase bait lizard. Great looking little lure, great for little fish, but you don't see these winter fishermen targeting bigger cod using these tiny little lures. You don't see them with these little cooler bungs on, but you might see them with the big cooler bung wake snakes. So if you're targeting bigger fish, use a bigger lure. If you just want to get a score on the board, the smaller lure is the way to go. I hope this has given you an explanation of different Murray Cod lures, and I hope that it's helped you out so that when you next go into a tackle store to buy some Murray Cod lures, you've got somewhere to start. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why not consider doing so? I'll see you in the next video.